Hey guys, what's up? This is Nainia from Tech Barrack Solutions, and today in this Mac tutorial, we are going to learn on how we can transfer files between two Macintosh, and that too at a very fast rate, and I mean like around 100 MB per second. So a 10 GB file will get transferred within 10 seconds, and around 220, 22.5 GB will get transferred in around 9 minutes. So that's super fast. So how do we do that? And that's basically going to be done with the help of an Ethernet cable. So what do we require for this tutorial? We require two Macs and it can be anything like an iMac or it can be a MacBook Pro or it can be a MacBook Air or it can even be a MacBook or anything you want, you, you have. So you just need two Macs. I've got two MacBook Pros. One is a MacBook Pro 13 inch and another is a MacBook Pro 15 inch. And the second thing that you need is the Ethernet cable itself. So now let's proceed with the procedure. So take one end of the Ethernet cable and attach it to one of the Macs. Once you attach one of the ends, take the second end of the Ethernet cable. Attach it to the second Mac. That's the 13 inch in my case so I cannot find the slot so once you attach that that was basically the setup and now we need to set up the IP stuff on both the Macs so let's proceed with that okay so now we are on my first Mac that is the 15 inch MacBook Pro Let's proceed with the settings for the first Mac. Go to System Preferences. Go to Sharing. Make sure that File Sharing is on. You can set the permissions for different users over here. Like the administrator can definitely read and write. The staff can only read. Or you can make it read and write if you want. And everyone can read only. So that was the sharing part. Now comes the Ethernet part. So go to network in system, system preferences, there it will show you that the ethernet is connected and it is using DHCP. So make it manually and type in the IP address in a sequential order. Let's say I type in 10.0.0.1. So for the second Mac, it would be 10.0.0.2. So you can see that it's going in a sequential order. And the subnet mask is going to be 255.255.255.252 and there should be no router address. Click on apply. Go to advance. In advance, make sure that IPv6 is configured automatically. There should be no DNS server and no search domains. Try to remove them because we do not require any of them. Then go to proxies and make sure that there are no proxies. And in hardware, make sure that it is configured automatically. So that was the setting for the first Mac. Now, let's go to the second Mac settings. Now, we are on the second Mac, which is the 13-inch MacBook Pro in my case. We need to do the same settings like we did for the first Mac. Go to System Preferences. Go to Sharing. Make sure that file sharing is on. Then go to network in network it will again show you that the ethernet is connected and it is configured using dhcp make it manually and put the ip address in the sequential order so it's going to be 10.0.0.2 in my case and make the subnet mask as 255.255.255.252 make sure that there is no router address Click on apply. Go to advance. In advance, make sure that IPv6 is connected automatically. Go to DNS and make sure that there are no DNS servers and no search domains. Go to proxies and make sure that there is no proxies in the Ethernet cable. Then go to the hardware section and make sure that it is configured automatically. Click on OK and then click on apply again. So that is the configuration for your second Mac and you are through with the configuration for both the Macs. 
Now we need to check whether the first Mac is connected with the second Mac. So on your second Mac, go to Finder. And in Finder, you'll have there, there is a section in the sidebar that is the shared section. And in the shared section, it will show you all the laptops that are connected to your Mac. So you can see that the first Mac is connected to the second Mac. And the name of the first Mac is Nine States MacBook Pro. Now, if you cannot see the shared section, then go to Finder, go to Preferences, and in Preferences, go to Sidebar. In Sidebar, you'll have the shared section and check mark all the three, pa three parts, three subparts of the shared section. Once you do that, you will be able to see the shared section. So now, let's check whether the first Mac is connected to the second Mac or not. Now, we are on the first Mac and we need to check whether we are connected to the second Mac or not. So similar way, we need to go to the Finder and in Finder, you'll have the shared section and it will show you the Mac that is connected to you. So you can see that the second Mac is connected to my first Mac and the name of the second Mac is Dr. Harsh Seth's MacBook Pro. So that basically proves that we are connected to the MacBook to both that both the Macs are connected. Now make sure that the firewall on both the Mac is off. So let's do the setting for the first Mac. Go to system preferences, go to security and privacy. There make sure that the firewall is off and if it is on in any case and you want to change this setting you need to click on this lock icon and unlock it and once you unlock it you can change the settings so my firewall for the first Mac is already off so I'm not gonna make any setting changes to this now let's go to the second Mac now on the second Mac we need to again do the same settings as the first Mac we need to check whether the fire firewall is off or not so go to system preferences, go to security and privacy and make sure that the firewall is off and it is off in my case so I'm not gonna make any other changes to this. Now let's see how we can transfer the files. Now comes the main part that is transferring the files. So select the files that you want to transfer. So I'm gonna transfer the videos folder from the first Mac to the second Mac. So on your first Mac, go to your home folder, go to the public folder inside the home folder, then just drag and drop the files that you want to transfer into the public folder. Now we are going to transfer the files from the first Mac to the second Mac. So we need to connect the second Mac to the first Mac with a login. So go to your finder on your second Mac, go to the device that you want to connect to and you can see that you automatically get connected as a guest. And if you are connected as a guest then you have a right to transfer files from the public folder. So whatever files that are there in the public folder you can get them transferred. So just select the files that you want to transfer from the public folder to your second Mac. So I'm selecting the videos folder and transferring it to my desktop on my second Mac. And you can see that the transfer is super fast and it is showing me 2 minutes for the transfer of 5.77 GB. And now it is showing me just a minute. So you can understand how fast the transfer is taking place. It is taking place at almost 100 MB per second. So that is super awesome speed. And I'll just do a bit of fast forward in this section and be right back once this is done. So you guys can see that the transfer is complete. And if I check the size of that folder which got just transferred you can see it is 5.77 GB and the transfer 
just took within a minute or you could say a minute and 20 seconds something of that sort and that is super quick because not even an USB can do that fast or even a hard disk can do that fast so this is the most fast way to get files transferred between two Macs and this is very good method if you have bought a new Mac and you want to transfer data from your old Mac so that was how you connect and transfer files between two Macs now let's just say that you wanted to access all the files of Nancy's MacBook Pro how can you do that it's very simple just click on the laptop that is shared and click on connect as and in connect as type in the admin name and password and click on connect now you can access all the files on Nancy's MacBook Pro that is my first Mac let's try to transfer some files from Lionsage MacBook Pro let's say I go to any folder let's say music and I go to iTunes and I go to iTunes music and transfer a file let's say 3 idiots folder and it gets transferred so and by the way I have transferred file from the iTunes folder and that is not possible until and unless you get the admin password and username so that's basically how you transfer files using the admin account now let's see how we can transfer files from the second Mac to the first Mac for that we need to connect to the first second Mac using the first Mac if you want to transfer files from the second Mac to the first Mac we need to connect to the second Mac using the first Mac Go to Finder on your first Mac and go to the shared laptop. In this case, it will be Dr. Harsate's MacBook Pro. And you can see it is showing connecting as. And it has automatically connected us as guest. So it's going to be the same way. And if you want to connect as an admin, you just need to click on connect as. Type in the name, uh, admin name and password and you're through. So that's basically it with this tutorial. And that's how you actually transfer files between two Macs. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com and also visit our Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus fan page. If you have any problems, please post it, post it as a comment in the comment section below and I will try to solve those problems.